What's up guys? Joe here. Welcome to my new video. Thanks for tuning in today. Today, I'm going to show you my homemade action camera gimbal. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to be updated with the latest video that's coming out from my channel. I do unboxing, review, and also DIY like this in this channel so please subscribe to be updated I made this gimbal two years ago we often use it in our outings my families and friends I'm not using this anymore now because I have a Osmo Mobile as you can see Osmo Mobile 2 I will make a video for this sooner so what's out this is a Hack RC Storm 32 gimbal. I disassembled it and make a an housing and put the electronics inside the housing I, I made. This is a fiberglass. I formed it like this and screw. Also, I, 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 I drill a hole for the U, micro USB so that when you're going to update or change the PID firmware or everything inside the uh, inside the board you are going to put this in the computer insert that and then put put this in the computer I also put joystick here this joystick is functional also this is a broken flashlight of my friend I make it the handle of my gimbal and as you can see Here's the charger of the gimbal. The battery I used for this gimbal is you can see here this blue one. The battery is from my drone, the Tarantula drone. Here's the charger of the Tarantula drone. To charge this, I, I insert it here in the charging port. And then this is going to be in the wall outlet. Now the sad thing is the board is I think it's broken this this motor here the I, I don't know is what motor is this is this the yo I think it's the yo motor is not working I think uh, I replaced this with a new motor but still it's not working so I think the board is broken I think I need to replace it but I, I'm not using it anymore because I have my Osmo mobile too so I leave it as this I disabled the motor I think this is motor number three I, I disabled it and put a zip tie here I will show you that this gimbal is still working and this joystick is still functional as you can see I, also this joystick can turn the yo this one but it's broken already so we cannot do it now I forgot to tell you the switch the switch is placed over here you can easily reach it to turn it on and off now let's let's turn this on to turn this on you have to put it in a flat stable place if the board is initializing when you turn it on and you move it there's a chance that it will not completely boot and it will not work properly I think it takes um, about 10 seconds or 15 to boot the system of the gimbal still works although you can't you can't move this forward like that because <coughs> the board is broken but this side is working properly like this and also you can put it like that and now you can it can stabilize that motion also in the in this other side like that so it still works even though this motor here is not functioning let's test it outside
As you can see in the video, I've showed you this gimbal does not perform great today because the board is broken and this is not functioning. Back at the time when the board is not yet broken, this gimbal performs well in terms of smoothening the video. It stabilizes the video properly and as you can see in the sample video I'm showing now. guys that's my video about my gimbal the storm 32 bgc gimbal you can buy this in i think in ebay it's 50 dollar and you can make it yourself just like i did if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe for more videos to come have fun and enjoy watching